welcome back if you're joining me for another video if you're joining me for the first time hello I have in front of me a bunch of assorted blind bag uh, toys now my kids went through the pile and pulled out a bunch of random things for me <laughs> that they wanted opened and looked at so we're gonna have fun today it's no particular theme there's no not going to be any particular order and um, I am going to on some of them for you lucky people out there who are possibly looking for tips on ways to maximize your finds of ultra rares there are some which they made blind bags but they didn't make them that great <laughs> they didn't really make them blind so without further mumbling all right so let's get into it and i'll go through them what have the kids pulled out? Alright, so this is one of the ones where they made a blind bag, but it's not particularly blind. If you want to know what you're getting in the Halloween series, especially if you're looking for the particularly the chaser figures, the um, mummy and the bumblebee, etc. Just hold the blind bag like this you can actually read what's card it's not going to come up on camera I don't think but you can actually hold it like this and you can see the pony and the name of what you're actually getting so this is a way of getting all the ones out of the box that are the collectibles the special one I can see is going to be the bumblebee so it's a blind bag but it's not really <laughs> It is Cherry Berry, the My Little Pony, dressed as a bumblebee, one of the special figures for this selection. Whoop! And she is looking very, very cute here. I wish they'd done the bumblebee wheeze wings on her, but they didn't. Now, all there is about six of these um, ones, I think. I have the entire set waiting to be opened, and I guess the kids just wanted me to open one from the My Little Pony Halloween series. Very, very cute. I hope you enjoyed that tip on seeing those ones. I'm gonna go for this one next. All right, so this is another blind bag, which isn't really blind. Um, I was fascinated and I think it's in one of my previous videos I found a bunch of blind bags with ultra rares in and then I've worked out how they did it. These blind bags aren't really blind bags. The figure starts off in the middle, it's cradled between the it's cradled by the collector's list, etc. So you can't actually see it while it's there, but if you squeeze the bag, the figure pops down into the corner here, and then you can see what you're getting. And I guess I'm going to get the rare Elsa. Hey look, it's Elsa! Now, for anyone that says, oh no, that's cheating, you should just pick one up and it's the first one you pick up, you should get mothers, um, a lot of the mothers I deal with, etc. spend a lot of money collecting these things for their kids and it is not the fault of the mother if they do not make their blind bags actually blind bags. It saves a lot of money. So, where are we? Where's Elsa? I'm sure she's a rare. Yep, here she is. On the checklist, noted as a pink career. So there she is, Elsa. Cool. I'll do another one. I might as well get the hints and tips ones finished. Now, these Hasbro blind bags are not blind bags at all, just like you can see through the packets of the My Little Pony and the Disney Zoom Zoom Series 1 squishies. They have a peephole. Which is really great in some ways for parents out there trying to get their kids the entire set. Not so great when you're trying to get the special edition as the first one to the box is always going to peek through and make sure they get the rare. So I'm not sure what this one has in. Uh, this one was given to me by another mum. But she said that I would enjoy it. So I'm just going to assume it is, since uh, since they tend to give me that, that it is the special one. Let's open it up and, and find out. Get 
And there we have it. The glitter pet. The special edition one. And there's the little checklist. Down here you can see this is the glitter pet here. And you can pretty much look through. She comes with this gorgeous, gorgeous little thing here. Does she come with a deco piece? It doesn't look like she comes with a deco piece, but there is a hole in the front here. Not okay. So she's very cute. She's number 4037. And she is the glitter pet for that series. Very, very cute. Just if you're new to Littlest Pet Shops and collecting the blind bags, don't be deceived. Don't get lots of the same one over and over wishing you could find the one you really, really want. Have a peek through the peek hole. It isn't cheating. It is there. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the next one I'm going to show you is the Disney Zoom Zoom Series 2 packet. How do you cheat it? It's not a blind bag. You grab it, you hold it up to the light, and you can actually, in the stores, you can do this. Um, I got mine from Farmers for $11.99. When you hold it up to the light, uh, the light shines through. It shows you the color of the animal inside. It is very easy to tell what's inside once you've done that. Um, so it is effectively not a blind case. It is not a surprise case because... You shouldn't be able to do that. And I'm going to guess that this one is one of the specials. And I was right. It's Mike Wazowski, who's actually new to our set. And he's very sticky. <laughs> so, for those of you looking for the particular pack with Mike Wazowski, the visible ones are Bambi, Piglet, and Marie. Okay, so those are some tips for the Littlest Pet Shop, uh, the My Little Pony, and the Disney Zoom Zoom Squishies. I do hope that the Zoom Zoom Squishies actually change their packaging because um, that light trick works with Series 1, 2, just so you know. Now the ones that I wouldn't have a clue. Great blind boxes that I have no idea how to cheat. <laughs> so... Let's get into it. Do not use a razor, kid. My scissors have gone for a walk, and neither my daughter nor my son know where they've gone. And I have seven pairs of scissors. So we are going to open a Happy Places box. It's really cute. I like these ones. Will you find a limited edition heirloom pet pen? Oh, I don't know. All right, so it looks like we're going to do the puppy. I think the puppy lounge or something. Okay, here is the blind bag. Uh, just a tip, do not buy blind bags like this, kids. Um, even if someone says, still in the blind bag, not opened, you can see in the light what they are and people are going to try and deceive you. They, of course, if they saw that limited edition in there, they would be taking it. All right, so we've got one in a piece of plastic here. Let's get it out. It is a shovel and spade. Oh, my goodness, it is so cute. It's so teeny and it's so cute. I can't get it out of its plastic. <laughs> I'm going to do that later. It's for someone with fingernails. We have this cute little brush and shovel from the Puppy Palace and I, I'm not going to fight with it. I'm not. I'm sorry. Alright, what else have we got in here? We have a... What the? What the? That looks like a slice of cheese. I think it's meant to be a door wedge. We have a piece of timber puppy. <laughs> what on earth is that about? Okay, piece of timber puppy, you just go up there, my friend. 
And the last one we have is... Oh, it looks like a fireplace. <gasps> is that a piece of timber to be burnt? That sounds horrid. Oh my goodness, I have to look this up right now. Is that a piece of timber? I don't want to burn the puppy timber. Okay. <laughs> This is awful. This is a firewood holder, which is make I guess makes sense with the brush and shovel because that's what you use around the fireplace. This little puppy piece is a piece of puppy timber waiting to be burnt in the fireplace. It's so adorable and so tragic at the same time. <laughs> no, it's awful. I will save you, puppy timber. <laughs> Okay, we have this Toosies pack here. From season one. Little shadow box. Let's open it up. Shik 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 shik. Here we go. It's got here, and now they come with a, oh gosh, a pet and a baby inside. The shadow box has the bananas. Benita bananas. Banana. Ah, oh, it's a double up for us. We already have this little baby. You love me, but you must love me. No, I'm sorry, my friend. You are a donation pile. No, please, no, no, please. And the little pet we have is also a double up. Leave. Oh, no. Oh, sweet. This pet is actually not a double up for us. So this is another one for the collection because we're getting so close to completing series one of the twosies. Well, apart from the, uh, the limited editions, of course. Chef's Club. Cool. Little Moose makes such wonderful blind bag series. You really do have anyone has a shot of finding themselves a limited edition, and that's what. Oh God, stop! And that's what I like about them when I'm not dropping it all over the floor. <laughs> what a dingbat! And their packaging is always amazing. Okay, I'm not gonna get that out of there because that will take me forever. Let's have a look what we got. I do not know all their names but we'll have a look. Oh it looks like a shampoo bottle or a salt, no it's not salt shaker, it looks like a shampoo bottle with the scannable code underneath. <laughs> Another little green bottle. Maybe apple juice or some sort of sauce. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really cute. Let's do the next one. I'm trying to get the plastic so I can pull it up. No, it's not going to let me. Come on. All right. It's very bad. I'm going to go search for my scissors soon. Oh, my kids have actually got me a really good lot to go through. All different kind of ones and I won't get bored of opening the same thing. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? We have a, a bowl of either chocolates or nuts or something. It's a really cute one. Shopkins are so adorable. And the seagulls are going for a flight outside. There's a little skinnable code. Isn't it adorable? I am cute. Yes, you are. You're very cute. Okay, and this one, the little jar on top. These little jars are great for kids to play if they make a little... Sorry, Miss Kitty. Sorry. Sorry, I'm killing you. Okay, there we go. They're great for pretend play. And the last... Chef's Club one, of course, a lemon. Oh my goodness, I think that was my favourite. This is most definitely my favourite one out of the opening so far. It's a lemon! I like her. I like her. Where are we going to put you so you stand? Uh -huh. She's pushing Mike Wazowski out the way. Sticky Mike Wazowski. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so we have a Yokai Watch Series 1 blind bag. Let's see what we get. We got Kappa. And we got an old snake. Get into it. Ah! Ah! And just throw it everywhere. And a Hungrams. Now these of course are the medals you use with the Yokai watch. So we got a Kappa medal. A Hungrams. Hungrams story made my little girl cry when she heard about it. And this dude, who I'm not entirely sure who he is. <laughs> Some old dude. <laughs> if Astra was here, she'd be able to tell me. What are we going to open next? Oh, well, I haven't opened one of these in a very long time. I think I opened these long before my I started to record videos days. <laughs> okay. Will it be special? I'm sure it will be. Let's have a look what we get. So these are the Moshi Monsters. It is Rocker. Card and... Oh! We got a little brainy dude who is called Splunk Splutnik and... and Prickles. Splutnik and Prickles. Here is Prickles with a very badly painted eye <laughs> and Splutnik whose brain is just kind of floating there <laughs> strangely cute Moshi Monsters is an online game much like Animal Jam um, I think it's been around for a lot longer than Animal Jam my kids used to be super into it especially my daughter but then she discovered Animal Jam so let's bring our Next one's home. Wow, this has been quite an opening. This has been quite a lot, quite a journey. I'm sorry for this long video. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Season 7 Shopkins. My son loves Season 7 Shopkins for the first time in since Series 4. One, four, five, six. So the first time in 4 Series. Uh, three series since four we might actually complete the entire series again beautiful little blind bags I really really like these little blind bags and the feel of the um the yellow blind bags is different too I wonder if they changed it to um because there were so many um fakes coming out copies coming out dress oh my god I thought it was some sort of mutant cactus <laughs> after prickles <laughs> we got this little dress it's a dress for a doll that's shoes underneath even that's cute <laughs> gee mummy oh brain not working fast and we got what do we get what do we get come on come on Oh, and in the purple theme again, we got this lovely looking cupcake. Shoop. No, I can't tell you the, these ones are, no, I don't think ultra rares are glittery in season seven. But there are stackable ones, which are really, really cool. That's very cool party colours, isn't it? I'm going to open up the next season seven Shopkins, Shopkins, because I love Shopkins, Shopkins. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Pop, 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 pop. Oh, that one came apart. Pop. This is such good packaging. And you open so many of them. You can put them in little party favors at kids, the kids' parties and play with them with Barbie. Look at their totally Barbie colors of purple and pink. Play with them with the other toys. Okay, what do we got? I the butterfly? What on earth is that? Is it butterfly? Are we now having shotgun butterflies? <laughs> One second please while I consult the list. 
I am not entirely sure what this is, but it's when Noah rings. I think she must be something, maybe an accessory, a brooch, or something you put on your head. She looks to me like a very strange butterfly. The dress um, is one of the stackables, so you can put things on top. I don't know how I feel about that Shopkins butterfly, and I've liked Shopkins season 7 so far. That is just weird. Maybe I'm missing something. Alright, next one! Here we go, come out, come out, come out! What are you? Come out! Oh, it's one of the stackables! <gasps> and it's see-through! Oh my god, it's so cute! It is so cute! And here is one of the stackables. It is wafer tops. It is for stacking with other ones to make a nice big Sunday wear. Really cute. I like these stackable ones. And I like that it's see-through. That's really cute. So you can get the um, ultra rares, which are sparkly, and get those ones. Alright! Um, okay. This is very, very old. We're going back to the Trash Pack Series 5. I think my son has the entire set apart from we couldn't get two. So I'll have to check which two he needs. But um, I can't believe this survived in the garage for that long. It must have got lost under in one of the boxes. I'm not going to look up the names, but um, we can easily see what they are. Here is the... A pink diaper. A very sad looking diaper from this trash bag. But um, yeah, so there was about two he didn't get from series five, which we just could not locate. And we cannot seem to get them on eBay or Trade Me to come up. I think he got all the ultra rares. It was just two common ones that are a bit strange. This little dude here came out of the first toilet. This is, of course, an Old Moose product, which um, was a collectible aimed at boys. This purple whistle. They're very squishy. I think these guys' time was well before Shopkins Series 1 came out. Schnitzel. And the last one from this viewing, ah, the squished or squashed or something spidered, stood on spider or something squished, squashed. It's a bit of memory lane here in yellow. So in these ones, there was three different color types. Okay, I have been saving this to last because um, I have not been doing my openings on camera of the Little Outrageous Littles. I think it's little outrageous littles. So I have the little baby you've seen sitting over, standing over here. I have this little one here and I have the mermaid one as well. I just haven't been opening I just haven't been opening them on camera. But I will do this one. My husband opened the cheerleading one for me last night. <laughs> And he is not a toy person, so it was <laughs> Oh my god! This one obviously is a color changer because I can see in the hair the white is slowly changing to a pink. My god! <laughs> that is a dongarinus! And that is a huge head on that baby. The poor, poor baby! Which mother thought it would be a good idea to give the baby this hairstyle? I'm just trying to find the list. Alrighty, big baby. What is your... Hey, we didn't get a dress. Oh, it's in there. Duh. Diva. And she is fancy. From the Glee Cub. Well, Glee Cub Diva, you look absolutely gorgeous. But my God, your hair... Looked like you had a fight with a pavlova and it exploded over your head. Alright, so here is her little outfit. Uh, the little outfits are touch and go with me because they... S I'm not into little outfits that don't cover all the essential pieces. The mermaid has a bit of a butt crack problem. <laughs> so let's get her dressed. They are very expensive for a blind bag, collectible. Um, as 
there are a lot of mums out there who cannot afford at New Zealand the cheapest that they currently are is $14 at the warehouse um, the toy world had them for $19.99 but they put them down to $15.99 I saw another place had them for I think it was like $16.99 or something like that they are exceptionally expensive for a blind bag the clothing does not fit well on these ones um, this is my favorite it does cover the butt well but as you can see in the arms there is a large split but all in all very cute and I love dolls so I'm collecting them I've got the cheerleader one upstairs I don't want to put them in water because if you're a seasoned toy collector like me you know that water destroys toys and water that goes inside toys makes very moldy dollies <laughs> <laughs> but very cute okay so let's have a look what we got today ah baby why do you do this to me why does your clothes not fit right why does your head reject your bar okay all right my favorite of this opening is quite a few really cool little things um i'm gonna have to say the lol doll first off she is amazing I hope when they bring out series two they do something about the um, exposure at the back of the babies <laughs> just something to keep it together and then they'll be near perfect uh, they are quite expensive for blind bags so I'm hoping they address the cost of them as well especially in New Zealand I love that I love that we got this little bird to make a set. I love the Littlest Pet Shop. Um, I like the Mount Wazowski and I love this little Shopkin here. My favorite thing is the LOL doll there. Let me know in the comments below what's the favorite thing that you saw that I got today and if there are any particular blind bags you'd like me to open or if you have any blind bags that you think I could give you tips with to find out what you want <laughs> other than the good old field test. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!